It's a good conversation. And it could go with uh, what this month is about. So, uh, but go ahead. One of y'all finger ready to say something? Oh, that was no, me. I'm just, just saying think... that your voice. You know, we can feel the emotion. We can hear the emotion. You know, we can hear like the the built up. It's not pain. It's like sadness. Like you, we know that you have passion for this, and um, it's not a bad thing. It's just you know we can hear it. And you don't get that in a lot of people, you know? Well, like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I can hear, like, when you're talking, I can just hear, like, some sadness in your emotion, the love that you have for children. I just can see it. Well, let me say this, and I say this all the time. Um, my grandmother on my dad's side, which is his mom, Mm -hmm. uh, when I was growing up, she ran one of the best daycares in uh, Memphis, because I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. And that's where I got it from, because um, that lady had a lot of kids. They were, she, they were bringing her, them to her daycare, you know, and she taught me a lot of times that she's kind of like too busy trying to get to everybody she would show me what to do and then on top of that a lot of times on the side you know she helped uh people that were disabled you know so a lot of stuff mm -hmm. i really learned uh from her now uh and also it's one point of time that i did want a child myself you know i want a little girl and y'all probably can hear the most passion come out of my voice when i speak about little girls because i wanted one at one point of time now, the closest I would have to that would be my little sister because I pretty much did a daddy job, you know, and I spoke about <coughs> that. Um, I think the live for this one I did earlier. You know, she's about the closest thing I'm going to have to her or daughter or whatnot. And trust me, when my mom used to tell me about things they were going on with her, when I went around, I used to grind my gear, but I was a grown man. I couldn't do nothing to the elementary children, so I was a grown yeah. man, but it showed boy my blood. Like, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it can be yeah, yeah, it grinds your gears, man. It grinds your gears. But, yeah, when I hear things going on with these little girls, you know, that, that kind of hits, uh, hits the most uh, on that. Now, um, to explain about the passion that y'all hear my voice again, because a lot of stuff that I can um, relate to because it's somewhat kind of happened to me. So a lot of stuff I can't speak on it because I experienced it. You know, whatever it's physical, mm -hmm. physical, emotional, verbal. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I felt it. I've been through it, you know. But I guess I'm one of the lucky ones that nobody ever thought about hitting me or beat me to the point that I will be dead, you know? Yeah. So, um, right. when but, you, hear, you know, verbal abuse is, you know, it's just like mental abuse. is just as bad. Yeah. It's not just as bad. Okay. But it's, it's bad. Mm -hmm. You know, that trauma still stays with people. And yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, this, and, and this is one of the reasons why um, I'm going to advocate this for the whole month, you know, because uh, if a lot of people ain't paying attention, uh, I really don't, even, I don't do my countdowns. I'm not doing my countdown this month, you know. Uh, I just skip straight to that and I speak on this uh, domestic violence things because it seems like just the children, they're going through it too now. Uh, with this domestic violence stuff always leaking in over to their life where they lose their life or they being traumatized, you know, by the stuff that's going mm -hmm. on um, when it comes to that. And that's why I say a lot of times when we as adults going back and forth and we're doing it in front of these children, who do you think you're really hurting? Do you think y'all hurting each other or you're hurting them? It's, it's, oh, the, babies. Hurting the, yeah. it's the babies. It's the babies. You're hurting the babies. How can I say this just real quick, guys? <laughs> How can a child learn to love itself when either of its parents hate the other? Good question. It, it, it took both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very true. Yeah. Very. If he he doesn't see a good relationship, be it even if you can't be together, if you can be civil and respectful mm -hmm. to and show that child that 
this is the way we should treat each other, then that child is going to grow up respecting himself or herself. Mm. You know, yeah. this is why... I agree with that. Right. And this is why, you know, I like when I hear a lot of people preach that the best household is where you got the mom and the dad. <laughs> now, here's the key word to that is the mom and the dad, they got common sense now. All right. Mm-hmm. They got common sense not to do that in front of them. You know, be, that's the best household. Or if it's not the biological mom and dad, you know, have the um, whoever they're stepping in to be their guardian to have common sense, you know to know yes. what to do in front of them and what not to do in front of them, you know, and I, that would be the best household. Because uh, here's the thing, and I'm pretty much sure y'all agree with me when I say this. Everybody has a story, and it's going to mm-hmm. have good and bad in it, but everybody mm-hmm. has a story. Mm-hmm. Some people's story may not yes. be as bad. <laughs> Some people's story may not be as bad. Some people's story may not be as good. Some people's story may be balanced. Or some people's story may be straight out bad. Or some people's story just, well, I ain't going to say 100% good because uh, every day ain't peaches and cream. So I'd be a laugh if I say every day's 100. But yeah. you get the gist of what I'm okay. saying. You know, we all have a story. Yeah. So um, everybody go through stuff. You know, you have a story to tell someone and then somebody can come back and tell you their story. You'd be like, man, I didn't have it that bad. Jeez. You know, dang. But and remembering to be thankful mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. not as bad as others. Mm-hmm. That's a huge. I practice that every day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, like I say, you know, as far as my passion with all that, you know, uh, a lot of this stuff is just pent up emotions and uh, stuff I'd have been through growing up and uh, stuff I'd have seen growing up, you know. So, it's just a lot of pent up stuff in me and, uh, it's just ridiculous how bad this stuff gotten. And uh, the 80s and 90s, I love to talk about that because we didn't hear much of this. Not saying it wasn't going on, but when I was growing up, I didn't hear all this stuff going on with these children and adults. But, man, in the 2000s, man, these folks done, y'all done ate the wrong applesauce or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> was it different flavor of or something? Something is going on. I don't know what's era. I don't know, I don't know what's in the water in this era, but it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to raise kids in this era. Like mm-hmm. my yeah. my young just now a senior. Um and uh, my kids have had it rough. They really have and none of that was in my home. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um and then the added stresses of you know, my daughter uh has two kids and we were talking the other day um, my grandson's going to go to kindergarten next year. And we're mm-hmm. seriously considering buying a be- a, bu- a bulletproof backpack. Mm-hmm. Why? Why am I thinking that? Mm. Mm. It's sad, but we have to so think about on. that. Like, this generation, these days are just, you don't know. You know, like... But- Back to the 70s, 80s, 90s, and I added a year in there, so don't don't worry. Um, <laughs> when you look back into that generation, you would have never convinced me that I would ever need a bulletproof backpack, ever. Right, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Back in my era, where we could walk to school and even take the long yeah. way when nobody bothered us. And it was common. It was common. It was not... Everybody did it. Everybody walked to school. Mm-hmm. You know, you didn't. I mean, and not saying that we didn't have our own kind of. Tra- it, it's just gotten so. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Back then, that's when all the serial killers were, right? <laughs> like mm-hmm. back. No, not back then, but. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, right, but they weren't <laughs> that's getting. When all the crazy, crazy ones. Mm-hmm. I think that ha- really has a little bit to do with it, is the fact that, you know, now our serial killers know that they can't kill for years because technology is going to catch them. So they've turned right. into mass murderers. You know, um, when I was growing up, I'm pretty much sure y'all too, in y'all era, everybody knew everybody. They yes. kept the village the way it was because everybody knew everybody. 
Chris, what you over there doing? You better get your butt home before you get in trouble if I call grandma. You better get your butt home. Mm-hmm. You better get your butt home before I call your mom and call your dad. You know you ain't supposed to be doing that because everybody knew everybody. All right? But it's still kind of like that in this era. But the thing, the difference about it is we see stuff, but we won't say nothing. The no we turn mm-hmm. our heads. Right, it's the no snitching don't with a lot of back, mm-hmm. But back then, though, it was like normal. Like what we call abuse, like back then, it wasn't abuse. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People would see somebody getting their ass whooped by their parents, right. be like, oh, you know, they're just getting, you know, that's they're just getting disciplined. Like that's fine, you know. But that's so, where we're going, and that's where these these podcasts, this community is so important because then it's knowing that, you know, um, we can grow, we can do better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And see, they're right there. I'm glad you brought it up because um, they're right there. I don't know what happened so bad that they start making it that you can't do this out in public or whatever case may be. And, you know, cause they look at it as, a Bruce now, but see, so you mean to tell me, you see me in the grocery store, my child is acting a complete fool. I'm supposed to keep on talking to them, and it they, they, they comes to acting a fool. I'm supposed to just keep on talking to them, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. See, I I can't see. I I don't I don't uh, what's a discipline like that at all. But then I get from my family. That's why your kids are bad as fuck. And I'm like, okay, but like, I just can't bring myself to, you know, even a spank or like. I, I just honestly don't believe like, spank yeah, myself. Yeah, I just, I, I can't bring myself to do it. But then they're in the middle of the store. Like you said, like I'll have like three at a time or four at a time. And they're all running around crazy. And I'm like, man. <laughs> but see, that's, man, that's, that's should thing, I really though. get that chocolate out and fucking? But no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. So you looking at my child, or oh, now we just cutting up in the mall, or she's cutting up, or he cutting up uh-huh. in the mall in the store. You literally yeah. just look at me, just keep on saying stop there, stop there, and, and the more I say stop, the worse they're gonna get. And I'm supposed to be keep on, and I'm supposed to just keep on mm-hmm. talking, right? Because if I touch there, you are gonna call the cops and say I'm beating them. Well, look. I probably got to take that because uh, if I'm currently talking, they constantly doing this, that, and the third. And like I said, my show a lot of time. Uh, to me personally, it's time to stop the talking. It's knuckle sandwich time. All right, somebody if you get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> so <laughs> get a knuckle sandwich. So you know, um, and and, and, and yeah, that see stuff like that. You know, and um, I don't heard that before too, uh, Lexi. Uh, about they say uh, that's why your children are bad because uh, you don't discipline them. Now they do have some truths in it, but discipline comes in different forms. Though, and it's not necessarily always whippings. It's not, you know, it could be timeouts or take away their video games or their tablets and stuff. But like see, that. I'm bad at that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, no, because if I take something away, then they're gonna be crying in my face, and then I just give in. I'm like, okay, oh, you know what? Okay, then I see what they. I think it's because I have too many of them. If I didn't have <laughs> as many as I did, <laughs> where do? Hey, I know I don't have no kids, but like, if I had kids, I wouldn't be spanking my kids either. I'll just put them in timeout, take their toys away. Mm-hmm. Well, see, it's not that easy though, because I could be like, hey, <laughs> I could be it. like, hey, go sit your, go sit down in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, like go, go sit down in the corner. You're about to stay in the corner. And then no, next thing you know, just you know, I don't know. You're <laughs> sidetracked. I don't know. <laughs> <what I'm from. laughs> I'm about to call that. What's that called? I Manny? fall. I fall somewhere in between. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I definitely use the the timeout mm-hmm. and the restrictions from screen time, whatever. But I'm also the one that you're acting up in the store. You've embarrassed me for the last 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. I am going to take my hand, and I have never hurt none of my children, but I'm going to take my hand and smack it up alongside your, the back of your head. <laughs> Just enough to get your attention. <laughs> the name that I'm giving a dog, please, to a dog. <laughs> I just, mine would look at me like I was crazy. Like, well, no, see, because they, they know like, next 
we're going to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And, and then, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'll be back mm-hmm. But see, I lost everything. Like, back then, like, I'm not even talking about like that kind of, but like back back then, you know, I, well, I wasn't back then born, but I hear stories, you know, where people are just like grabbing anything they can and like hit you on the head or hit you, you know, like my brother, he was I raised with my saying. other aunt. And, but, a bathroom uh-huh. trip with me would be more, look, this is what's going to happen, and we're leaving the store right now. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Now I'm really mad because now I don't even have the groceries that we needed for the night. <laughs> so when we get home, right. you get nothing. <laughs> oh, we. I don't know why I'm being this Sorry, I don't know. If I made a trip to the grocery store and you acted up just that bad, can't get the groceries, I don't know if I can let them slide with that because... Uh, <laughs> We need oh, I've had to do it though. I've had to do it. I've had to like I'm I try to be nice and I'm like, hey, you know, let's go to the store. I'm gonna take you guys, you know, and I know better because I'm like, I already know what the fuck is gonna happen, how they're gonna act. But anyways, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, y'all come with me. But then like I've had to actually leave the store and bring them back home and then I had mm-hmm. to go back and grow mm-hmm. stuff. See, but that's and where my they need like it's yeah, well, that's where I mean, we gotta get my man's like, You don't do nothing. Food. Like you don't take away nothing. You'll take away something, but then you know you just give in to their little. He's like, <laughs> it's it's your fault. I'm like, man. Well, let's, let me <laughs> hey, we don't this. get a book with this crap, <laughs> not at all. So we do the best right? we can. Right. <laughs> let's, let me ask you this: when, right? uh, your mom and dad took stuff from you, did they give it back to you when you cried, or, or how they do you? Hmm. See, no, nah, I didn't get disciplined either. Oh, oh, like, okay. Yeah, I didn't get. It's learning. Le- Lexi's learning. <laughs> parent from like, Noah. I had, yeah, <laughs> like I didn't really like my parents. They worked a lot. Mm-hmm. They were never around. Like I had nannies, you mm-hmm. know, and. I didn't get disciplined. Like, hmm. my, yeah. Maybe that's I didn't what have I anyone have been, to tell then. me, you know. Uh, I should have been over there with y'all then. Because, uh, <laughs> I can tell you about the ass whoopers I got. Ooh, wee. So maybe I should have been over there with y'all. <laughs> no, Man. like, Ooh. I just, um, I mean, if they were around, it would probably, I don't know. But they weren't around, you know, so. Right. So your nannies are doing a job. That they're not going yeah, to Yeah, my nannies were doing the job and it was like, okay, are they gonna put their hands on me? I I don't know. But my brother, you know, he was raised in California with my aunt and he got his ass beat, like mm. beat beat with hella shit. You know, like my aunt, my you know, and he just spoke out about it like five years ago or six years ago. And um, so he was treated a whole different way, but he decided to stay in California. Like my mom let him, he was like seven and he was like, I want to stay with my grandma. And my mom was like, okay, we're moving. But I was young, you know, he was young too, but he was raised totally different than I was. But um, yeah, I just never got disciplined. Maybe that's why I don't, do it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that sounds like what it is, but you never get it, you know. Uh, it's kind of hard for you to do it because you never got it. So you wouldn't even know really what it's like to discipline them because you never got it, you know. So, yeah, that's exactly. Kinda understandable. That's, that's kind of understandable. Okay. Well, ladies, uh, it is 11 43. Yeah. My time. Oh, I really appreciate this conversation, but I need to get up here and go lay down because I am getting started. Oh, we appreciate you coming on here anytime. Yeah. Right? You know what? We, you should let us like interview you one time on your show because I feel like there's a lot more, you know, like, like if somebody, if we're asking you questions or, you know, get people to know that side of you that like made you want to do what you do mm-hmm. or something to having That's this conversation great. with you. Great idea. Like, I was like, dang, you know, like you really got, got to me and I was just like, dang, you know, he's. I don't get all sentimental on me now. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, let me stop. I am a yeah, personal person. Uh, yeah, I think I that would be a great idea. 
Yeah. But yeah, I definitely. Um, no peer pressure going on here, Chris. None. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great yeah. person, oh, Phoenix. Chris, for real, you are. Phoenix just woke up. Phoenix. All right, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, probably gonna be a bad idea. You, you know, um, we got some time. Uh, I don't, I don't mind it. You know, I said I'm gonna start doing that. Start opening up my panel more when I do my lives and let people come up and speak about whatever. You know, I think it'd be a good idea. So, yeah, I can, can, yes. I, I can consider that. Consider that. Yeah, just let let us know. I Baby, go inside. Will. I'm coming. Okay. Um, my son just woke up. I gotta put him back to bed. All right, ladies. All right, um, guys. Thank y'all so much. Good night. Uh, yeah, have a good night. You Thank too. you guys for joining. Um, All right, guys, that was uh, this YouTube channel called Criminally. You know, um, I just on there having a conversation with them, and I thought it was a good conversation um, that they was having, so I joined in on the conversation. And uh, yes, yeah, a lot of y'all probably didn't hear, but they gave me permission to go ahead and record. And I thought this was something that um, y'all may be interested in hearing, you know. Uh, Speaking on stuff like this and uh, dealing with children. So, anyway, though, um, yeah, tip what y'all think. All right, peace out.